So now we are going to create this HTML, CSS and JavaScript project in which case when the user clicks on the success button, this particular toast notification will be displayed on the right hand side along with the progress bar over here. So when we click on the success, a green color toast notification is getting displayed. When we click on error, a red color toast notification and then when we click on invalid, the orange color toast notification is getting displayed over here. So guys, all these notifications are having the progress bars as well. So up to five seconds, the notification will be appearing and then after that it will disappear. So guys, let us create this HTML, CSS and the JavaScript project. So let us move to VS Code. So let us create a new folder inside the projects folder over here and we will name it as toast notification. So guys, we have this new folder inside which we are going to create the three files that is index.html file. Then we have the style.css and the script.js file as well. So we have created all the three files over here. So first of all, let us create the basic template inside the HTML file in this case. And also we will link this to the style.css file over here. Apart from this, just before the ending body tag, we will also link the script.js file as well in which we are going to write our JavaScript code. So guys, first of all, let us create the container diff tag over here. So simply we have the diff tag with the class container and we will create three buttons over here so first button will be success button in this case followed by the error and the invalid buttons so guys over here we have created all the three buttons in this case let me just save this file now and start the live server over here so as you can see these are the three buttons that we have created let us provide certain styling attributes as well inside the style.css file so guys over here for the body tag First of all, let us provide the margin it is equal to zero and also we will provide the padding it is equal to zero over here. Apart from this, let us also give some background color. So let us give some shade of the blue color over here. I'll just adjust the shade of the blue color in this case. So as you can see, these are the changes that we have done over here. Let us also give some styling properties to the buttons as well inside the container class so guys over here we will provide dot followed by container and inside this we are going to refer to the button tag in this case so first of all we will give the background color as black color over here we will provide the font color that is the color styling attribute as the white color over here Apart from this, we will also give the padding of 5 pixels from all the sides. We will give the margin that is 20 pixels from top and bottom and 10 pixels from left and right. So guys, these are some changes that we have done so far. Let us also provide border. It is equal to 0 and we will provide border radius as well. It should be equal to 5 pixels. Also, we will provide cursor. It is equal to pointer so that when we get the mouse cursor over here, it is converted to a hand tool in this case let us increase the padding from left and right as well so in this case let us provide 5 pixels from top and bottom and 10 pixels from left and right as the padding over here so as you can see these are the three buttons that are getting displayed now guys when we click on any of the button over here we should get the toast notification on the right hand side so first of all we will provide the toast box which will act as a container so basically we will provide the toast box id over here for the diff tag and inside this we are going to dynamically create the diff tags that will display us the toast over here on the right hand side so guys let us move to the script.js file now and first of all let us identify all these three buttons over here so basically we will provide let followed by the variable name that is buttons in this case so we have document followed by dot this time we will use the query selector because we are identifying multiple HTML elements over here. So we have dot container since it is the class name and then followed by the tag that is button. So guys all the three buttons we will get inside the buttons variable. So basically it is a list of all the HTML elements. So we will be using the for each method over here and for each button we are going to provide the on click listener. So guys over here we need to provide the 
a sync function and then for each element that is button over here we need to call the add event listener function so over here we have the add event listener and we are going to listen to the click event over here followed by the callback function which is going to handle the click event so guys basically this is the async function that we are going to write so guys what these lines of code are doing is basically first of all we are identifying all the three buttons that are present on the ui and one at a time for each button we are adding the click listener over here by using the add event listener in this case and based on what content is present inside the button that is clicked we are going to provide the toast notification on the right hand side so guys we need to provide the div element over here so let us name it as toast it is equal to we have to create the new div tag so we have document followed by dot and then we have the create element method which is going to help us create the div tag over here so we have provided the parameter as the div in this case now inside this we are going to write the message so let us say we have the inner html it is equal to success over here so basically we are going to change this message to error and invalid based on the button that was clicked by the user for now we are simply setting the message over here inside the toast div tag and then apart from this we also want to add a class over here so basically for the toast we are going to add the class so in this case we have the class list property followed by dot and then we have the add function we have to provide the name of the class so let us say we provide toast as the name of the class over here so basically we need to provide the styling attributes to the toast in this case before this we are going to add the toast inside the toast box so guys let me just copy this id and let us identify the toast box first of all so toast box it is equal to document followed by query selector this time and since it is the id we have the hash character followed by the toast box and to this toast box we have to append the child that is toast that we have created which is a new div tag so guys over here we provide toast box followed by dot and then we have the append child method which is going to use the parameter that is toast that we have created just now so guys basically this div tag will be added to the toast box dynamically when the user clicks on any of the buttons over here now let us provide certain styling attributes to the toast class over here that we have included for this newly created div tag so guys inside the style.css file we will provide toast and first of all we will provide the position it is equal to absolute over here so that the toast or the snack bar should be displayed on the right hand side so guys over here first of all we will provide right it is equal to 10 pixels so that we provide certain spacing from the right and from the top as well it must be 10 pixels over here apart from this let us also provide the width so let us say we provide width as 100 pixels and height it is equal to let us say 30 pixels over here and then we will also provide the background color so guys let us say for the success message we are providing some green color shade over here so let us say we provide this particular color in this case apart from this we also want to set the padding as well so padding it is equal to 10 pixels so that we have certain spacing when we provide the message inside the div tag over here so guys let me just save this file now when we click on the button that is success over here you can see that the div tag is getting displayed on the right hand side now guys the height is too much let us adjust the height and width as well so over here let us provide the height as 20 pixels and also we will extend the width as well so we will provide the width as 150 pixels over here so as you can see the success message is getting printed now when we click on the error nothing is happening over here guys so let us see what is the issue so basically we also have to provide the CSS properties to the toast box over here as well. So let me just copy this ID that is toast box and then we provide hash character followed by toast box over here. So what we have to do is we need to provide the position that is equal to relative over here and then we have to say 
top it is equal to 10 pixels just like how we have provided to the toast class and also the right it is equal to 10 pixels over here apart from this we also want the display property as flex in this case we will provide the flex direction as well so that all the toast messages should be displayed in a column over here so guys these are some of the properties that we have provided let me just save this file now and when we click on the so as you can see the success message is getting printed let us provide some background color to this diff tag over here and let us provide the yellow color over here for testing purpose still we are not able to see the yellow background color so guys what we will do is instead of having relative over here we will provide absolute to the toast box in this case and then we will provide relative to the toast diff tag over here so as you can see now we are able to see the yellow background color for the toast box in this case which must have the position it is equal to absolute and the position must be relative for the toast diff tag that was added dynamically so this was the change that we had to do so guys let me just remove the background color over here and then apart from this we also want the spacing in between the toast messages that we are printing and then apart from this we also want certain spacing in between the toast notifications that are getting displayed so guys simply we have to provide the margin over here so let us say we provide the margin of 10 pixels from top and bottom and 0 from the right so as you can see these are the notifications that are getting displayed over here now guys all the buttons are showing the success message in this case so what we have to do is first of all let us provide the set timeout function as well so that after the five seconds they are removed automatically so we will provide the set timeout function over here it is going to take a callback function and after five seconds which means after 5000 milliseconds we are going to remove this toast node so simply we will say toast followed by dot and then we will have the remove method that will help us to remove the new diff tag that we had added dynamically so guys let me just save this file now so when we click on the success over here after five seconds you will see that the notification will disappear from here so as you can see now there is no notification now when we click on the error and invalid as well we are getting the success message so let us change that also so what we have to do is we need to check which button is clicked when we are coming inside this add event listener so guys by default we have provided the inner html as success over here but what we can do is simply we can check the inner html of the button so button dot inner html if it is equal to this particular message that we have provided for the button label so simply we will have the three times equal to operator in order to check this particular string so if it is success then we are going to provide the success message over here as the toast notification and then if it is error and invalid we are going to provide the error message over here so simply we will say error and then in this case we will say invalid and again we will provide the message as invalid over here now if we save this file now when we click on success we are getting success when we click on error as you can see we are getting error over here and then for invalid we are getting invalid message so guys in this way we can get the proper messages over here now apart from this we also want to set the different colors for the error and the invalid as well which is green color for now so what we can do is simply inside the style.css file instead of having the green color as the background color as you can see for the toast diff tag we have to add another class over here for the error and the invalid so simply let me just provide the open and close curly braces over here and then we will add another class in this case so we have class list followed by add and then this time we are going to provide the error as the class name over here for the error button in this case and for the invalid button we are going to provide another class that is invalid over here so guys apart from the toast class that we are adding in this case we will add the other two classes for two different scenarios that is the error button and the invalid button so let us provide the styling attributes to these classes as well so simply we will provide dot toast followed by dot error this time this should have a different background color so let us provide the red background color we will change the shade of the red color over here 
so let me set this particular color in this case let me just save this file now let us see what happens so success is giving us green color and error is now giving us the red color over here similarly we will provide the background color for the invalid button as well so in this case we will say dot invalid and this time let me just select the shade of the orange color over here so we set this particular orange color this time let me just save this file now so as you can see we have all the three colors over here success error and invalid now guys apart from this we also want the progress bar over here at the bottom of this particular diff tag so what we can do is simply for the toast we can provide the pseudo element that is after so over here we will provide toast followed by two times colon and then simply we can have the after over here now guys over here now inside this we have to provide the content it is equal to blank in this case we will provide the position it is equal to absolute this time so simply we will say absolute position we will provide the width as 100 percent over here and also we have to provide the height of let us say five pixels and then apart from this we also want to set the background color so let us say we are checking for success over here so it should have the green background color over here and we save this file now let me just click on the success in this case so as you can see we are getting this bar over here but it should be at the bottom of this div tag so guys in this case what we have to do is simply we will say bottom it is equal to zero and from right as well we have to provide zero so that it is at the bottom of the div tag so as you can see this is the green color at the bottom of the div tag apart from this we also want this progress bar to move over here so simply we will provide the animation css property so we will give the name that is nm in this case and after five seconds it should go to zero and then we will provide the duration as five seconds and then we will provide linear and the forwards values as well and then after this we need to define this animation so we have the keyframes and then we provide this particular name of the animation that is nm over here and then on 100 percent we want the width to be zero over here so the width that was 100 percent it should be zero when the progress bar is completed so simply we will provide width that is equal to zero in this case let me just save this file now when we click on success as you can see the progress bar it is decreasing over here and after reaching the end the notification will disappear so as you can see this is the way that it is appearing so guys for error and the invalid as well we are getting the green colors over here for which we are going to change the colors now so guys how do we change the colors simply we'll have to copy these lines of code i'll duplicate it and after this error we have to provide the two times colon and then the pseudo element that is after over here for both these for both these html elements so guys over here we have the after and for the error part we have to provide the red color over here and for the invalid we will provide the orange color in this case so as you can see these are the changes that we have done so for error as you can see we are getting red and for invalid we are getting the orange progress bars over here so guys in this way we are successfully able to provide the toast notification on the top right hand side of this particular web application based on the button click over here so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.